Now you are ready to add a new product. Click on the product tab in the left hand column. This takes you to the manage product page. Click on the add product button at the top of the page to create a new product. You will be directed to the add new product page. Here you can enter the name of your new product in the box next to where it says product name. Once you have entered your new product's name, in the box below where it says sales page URL, you want to enter the URL of the sales page you will be using to promote your product. The next step is to enter the type of payment you would like to use for this new product. Your choices are lifetime or one-time payment, subscription, recurring payment, or free membership. If you wish, you can also create a trial price for a period of time that you determine. Click on the Enable Trial Payment tab, click it to On, and fill in the trial price and length of the trial in the boxes provided. In the next box on this page, you fill in the regular price for your product, whatever you want it to be. This can be changed in the future whenever you want. In the next box, you enter the direct and third payment party method that you selected earlier. Switch this to on and the direct payment method you choose will appear. The third party payments won't appear until you save the product. The next field is the membership download page. Use the drop down menu to select the WordPress page you want to use for this page. You can also determine the order process for your product using the next field order steps. Use the drag and drop function to determine whether you want customers to register first and then enter payment information or enter payment information before registering. If you place the payment registration first, however, then the option for auto registration will appear. If you turn this on, Customers will automatically have an account created by Insta member once they enter the payment information. The last field on this page is the After Purchase Redirect. This is optional, but if you want to direct your customers to another page after they have purchased your product, such as a customized thank you or an upsell page, simply enter the URL here to the page where you want to direct them. When you click on the Save Product button, at the bottom right-hand corner of the page, your product will be added to Insta Member. Once the product has been saved, the third-party payments you have selected earlier will need to be activated. Click on the third-party payment tab and the choices you made will appear. Simply switch them to On Position and they will be ready to go. Then all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions to integrate Insta Member with the particular third-party payment system you have chosen. Now that you have created your first product, you are ready to start using your membership site to start making money. Affiliate Program Settings Please note that you have to use the direct payment in order to enable the built-in affiliate program. Set one tier affiliate commission according to your preferences. If you want to add another affiliate program for this product, turn enable two tier affiliate program on to activate the affiliate options. Set it up according to your preferences. Set the payout delay period according to your preference on when you want the commission to be paid. For example, by default this is set to 30 days. Commission will only be paid after 30 days the product has been purchased. Let's move on to the autoresponder settings. Click the plus button to open up its settings. This drop down contains option of autoresponders you can choose from. Please note that the only available option would be the autoresponder you have successfully set up on the setup configuration integration page. Other than that, the only available option would be the custom autoresponder. The custom autoresponder is specially intended to those who are using autoresponders other than the ones listed and supported by Insta Member. When this option is selected, the autoresponder code HTML will appear. This is a text area where you can paste in the raw HTML code generated from your autoresponder. 
save your changes. Once you have created a product, you can see your product name listed here. Now if you hover your mouse below the product name, you will see there are a few other options you can edit. And now let's click the protect content link. This option would enable you to manage content protection. It allows you to protect not just your posts and pages, but your local files and Amazon S3 files as well. Very important when using S3, if you have decided to protect a certain bucket in your Amazon S3 account, all files that are inside it will only be accessible by an Insta member. So it is recommended that you create a special bucket intended to the sole purpose of using it in protecting files with Insta member. Choose content type Post If this option is selected, it will list down all the posts published in your website. Pages This will list down all pages that are published in your website. Local files This will list down all the files inside your website server. Amazon S3 files This will list down all the files inside your Amazon S3 account. Protect content table. This table with three columns is where all contents are listed depending on what content type you choose from the drop down. The first column lists down all the page post title published in your site if you select page or post content types. On the other hand, if you choose local or Amazon S3 files, this will show the file names. Available in. This column can only be configured if you will click on the checkbox beside the post page title or file name you would like to make the content be available for a specific period of time. You may set it in days, weeks, months, years, or even a specific date all depending on your preferences. Expired in, just like the available in column, this can only be configured if you will tick on the checkbox beside the post page title or file name you would like to make the content to expire in a specific period of time. You may set it in days, weeks, months, years, or even a specific date, all depending on your preference. Once you are done setting up the content protection to all the contents and files you want, save the changes you made by clicking Apply Protection button. Licensing This, this Insta member feature will enable you to further enhance the security of your product by applying licenses that you can freely set up according to your preferences. To apply the licensing feature, go to products in your Insta member page. Hover your mouse below the product name you want to manage licensing feature to make the option visible. Click Licensing to start setting up the licensing feature for the specific product. By default, the Switch Enable Product Licensing is disabled. Switch it on to start using the licensing feature. This then will make the option visible. Usage for License This option should be a numerical value except that you won't need to fill it out if you choose no limit on the license usage which corresponds to the number of times the user can use the license produced. On the input fields, right side is a drop-down that contains the option on what instance to use of license is applicable per domain name, per server, or per user IP address. For example, if you set this setting to 10 per domain name, it means a member can use one license in 10 domain names. License key prefix this is an alphanumerical value from which all generated license key for this product will begin. Leave this blank if you don't want to add a prefix. License key suffix. This is an alphanumerical value from which all generated license key for this product will end. Leave this blank if you don't want to add a suffix. License key string. This is a numerical value which corresponds to the number of characters of the license key generated. Expires in. This option will determine the expiration date of any license key generated for the specific product. By default, it is set to never expire. However, you have the option to set a numerical value equivalent to the number of days, 
weeks, months, and years you want the license key to expire. Once you are done setting up the licensing feature of your product, save the settings or the changes you made by clicking Save License Settings button. Red Pay button Click Red Pay button to start setting up and customize the registration and payment button of the product. Click the individual payment URLs and button steps to show the option in setting and customizing the payment and registration button. Payment URLs this will show the URL that you can use to link text or images and then redirect the visitor when activated to the specific payment gateway. Payment buttons. Choose a button. This drop-down contains a wide selection of button styles available for you to use. HTML snippets. This will show HTML code specific to a payment method that you can copy and paste to any content of your site where you want the registration or payment button to appear. Shortcode snippets And if you are using WordPress, you can use this option to add the payment button to your sales page. Auto switch payment button If you want to use a direct payment, uh, for example PayPal, and also sell your product on third-party networks, uh, example ClickBank, JVSU, DigiResult, etc., but you don't want to create a new sales page for each payment system, then you can use the auto-switch payment button feature. Create only one sales page, drop the code snippet, an Insta member will automatically display the right payment button based on the incoming traffic. To make use of the right pay button feature, go to products in your Insta member page, Hover your mouse below the product name, you want to manage the registration payment button to make the option visible. Click Red Pay button to start setting up and customize the registration and payment button of the product. Click the Auto Switch Payment button tab to show the option in setting and customizing the payment and registration button using the Auto Switch feature. Depending on the number of third-party payment gateway that you have set up on the payment method of setup configuration page, will there be special sales page URL that would appear? For more details, please refer to the PDF guide. Reports. This option will enable you to view and manage the sales report of a specific product. Click report to view and manage the sales report of that specific product. Quick search. This is a drop-down field that by default is set to show the current day sales report. Other options include yesterday, last 7 days, last 30 days, and choose a range wherein you can set a specific time frame for sales report checking. Start date and end date. These input fields are intended to be used when you choose to set quick search to choose a range to filter out search results for a product sales report. Keyword. This is a powerful Insta member option where you can enter a specific keyword to filter out the list of sales reports for the product that matches the keyword provided. Search filter. The first drop down contains all existing products of the site. Choose any of the product from the drop down to show only the sales report of any specific product along with the aforementioned filter. The second drop-down contains the transaction available on the site, paid only, unpaid only, and refund only. Click the search button to start the search process and apply the filter option search.